and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today, there's going to be a pair of wide receivers looking to make big plays on the field. It's Johnson's Lions going up against Matthews' Eagles. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 8 matchup. Lions coming up on EA Sports as we get set to kick off week eight of the NFL season. Jim Nance and Bill Sims, partner, look forward to sharing a very special afternoon with you. Yeah, thank you, Jim. Uh, we look forward to sharing it with you, too. This should be a special game. I know the fans are excited about it. Talk radio all week long. All they talked about was this game because we have special players and some coaches that are two of the best in the NFL. Uh, I'm excited about the game. The Lions are back deep, ready to return to kickoff. The Eagles ready to get this action started. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. Stafford's going to be at quarterback today. He ranks in the top 10 for touchdown passes in the league this season. It's first down as they head to the line. Alexander's a receiver in the slot. Moreno's hand at the football. In on the stop. When a coach can have a run, it picks up those kind of yards. It gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. The Lions will take the snap from the 30. Play action, Stafford. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. That was his job is to sell that play fake, and boy, did he do it that time. It fooled the defense, and they get the completion. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. They'll mark him at the 41. Hard to judge sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game, but I know this. When you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. The Lions decked out in a lot of pink, and we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Second and three. Another handoff right back to him, and that's good for only a yard or two. And now let's take a look at the Lions' offensive lineup. They've done a great job of converting on third down this season. Third and two here after the run. The Lions in the pistol. They want to keep feeding him the football. Tackles made. Good job that time by the defense. They get the fourth down situation here. They were bending a little bit, but they didn't give up the big play. Good job. And so now they'll call on Martin to punt the football away. And the ball will be spotted at the 20. Bradford's taking the field now. This is his sixth season as a quarterback in the NFL. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Left side. Murray's tackled down after a gain of seven. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. The Eagles from the 27. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top.
The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Nickel formation here for the defense. Bradford's going to take it from the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Here's our look at the Eagles lineup. Their passing numbers on the year are just dreadful. Second down coming up. Bradford's lined up. Two tight end oh, no. set. They'll go shotgun here. Brent Selig makes the catch. Here's the Lions' defensive lineup. A front seven that does not budge when it comes to allowing the opponents to try to run the football. Sam Bradford backing off the line of scrimmage and into the shotgun. Third down and three. He'll fire it out to the left. And intercepted. He's brought to a halt. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down here. Johnson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Moreno's got it on the handoff. Jenkins is there to make the stop. And here's the Eagles defensive lineup. They do have a tendency to give up a lot of yardage. So we'll see if this offense can take advantage today. The Lions have it at the 39. The Lions now move the chains. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Moreno lined up in the backfield. And that'll gain just a few yards. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Stafford lines up in the pistol. The Lions snap it at the 31. He's going to get another carry. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. When you have defensive ends that like to go up the field and they think they're going to get to the quarterback, you know what you do with those kind of defensive ends? You run draw plays and screens underneath them, take advantage of the fact that they're not reading their keys. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Alexander's in the slot. Handoff made. No doubt about it. Touchdown. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Lions with the PAT to come. He made it. The Lions defense certainly contributing to the cause here today. And that interception was good enough to lead the offense out for a short field and a score. made right around the 26-yard line. First down all the way. Offense lines up here. It's Marshall. Marshall's tackled down after a gain of 15. This is what drives coaches crazy. You make the quarterback throw it short, then you can't come up and make the tackle, and you give up a long game. You got your players in position, that's all you can do. Now it's up to them to make a play. The Eagles were heartbroken last week, and they've set themselves up for another repeat feeling here today. Jim, this is what the NFL is all about. There are a lot of tight games, so when you get situations like this, you can't crack under the pressure. 
Second and short following the run. And Matthews is lined up in the slot from the shotgun. The defense gets a sack. Well, that was an aggressive play by the defense. That's risk-reward. The, the reward, of course, is sacking the quarterback like they did. Well, the risk is if you don't get there, you could give up a big play. Marshall makes the catch. Plenty of zip on that throw. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corner. Murray lined up in the backfield. First down and 10. Keeps churning ahead. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. Bradford is the one who is down and will step aside for just a moment. Daniel Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That's a gain of seven. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. That is a nice job by the running back there. He knew it was third and short, so he put that big old butt. in there and grinds out the first down they're able to move the chains after that last run on this passing down the defense comes out in the nickel Murray's gonna secure the handoff and he's tackled some three yards away from a first down second down and three following that nice run So Marco Murray is in the backfield. He'll keep it on the play fake. Shakes past the defender. And that's a gain of 13. The first quarter comes to an end, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The N up to you by Head and Shoulders, the official shampoo of the NFL. The Eagles still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. First down here after the completion. Let's go. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Game's maybe five. This is a nice drive by the offense, Jim. They're down. They're driving down the field. Let's see if they can put seven points on the board. Mounting a serious drive. Second and goal from the four. He'll throw it over the middle. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Touchdown, Touchdown Eagles. Eagles. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Eagles line up now for the point after. Makes the PAT. Now ready to kick it off as we have a tie game here. Scores 7-7. Seven to seven. Stafford will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. The Lions offense ready now to see what it can do. Stafford's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. First down at the 20. He's taken down at the 23. 
Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Second down and seven. Moreno's taking the handoff. Then picks up about three. It'll be third down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Oh, what almost picked off that time. Well, the offense didn't pick up the first down that time. They're, they're pretty happy the way everything turned out because that pass could have been intercepted, and you give an interception up on third down, and that is bad. Nice piece of running. show off his talent on that punt return that time. What speed and quickness that allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. They bring in the extra tight end. First down at the 38. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Murray's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second and nine. Here's the handoff. Slashing to the right side. Tackle just three yards short of the first. Line up now on third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. Barkley's lined up. No extra blockers for this snap. Third and three. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Number two. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Offense lines up here. Sproles is going to take the handoff now. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Murray lined up in the backfield. Second down and 11. And the give now to DeMarco Murray. Picked up a couple that time. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. following the run the defense comes out in the nickel Barkley's gonna take the snap from the shotgun catch made near the sideline the Eagles have clearly been focusing on getting some of their big weapons involved here in the first half Marshall's been a favorite target Phil he has and listen when you have that kind of talent on the outside. You got a quarterback that can put it on the money. The offensive line, they're having an outstanding day, too. It adds up to a lot of receiving yards. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gives them a few yards. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Split backfield here. Let's go. The Eagles from the 27. And the carry to Ryan Matthews. Matthews is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. And Matthews is lined up now as a slot receiver. The Eagles will take the snap from the 25 and pick up about four. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open. But no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short. Defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. Let's go. Hand off. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Anytime you go for it on fourth down in the NFL, there's going to be a lot of second guessing if you don't get it. So get ready for the second guessing. It is coming. 
Now first and ten. Moreno's handed the football. Cox is there to take him down. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down and one. Tackle made by Barwin that time. The Lions are tied up in what's been a fun game up to this point, partner. Moreno's really been a handful, and he's a key reason why it's so tight. Ooh, he is, come on, he's tearing it up, Jim. I mean, can you imagine? He's doing it every way you can think of, running the football, breaking tackles, going around people. Spectacular game so far. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Stafford in shotgun formation. He's got the catch. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Stafford from the gun. With two hands, he has it. Nice job by the quarterback, finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down. Though. That leads us to second down. Alexander's a receiver in the slot. Throw to the left. Catch made. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Third and four. Moreno on the screen. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Stafford still down, so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. We're back after the injury timeout, and Danielle Bellini will have the update on the injury in just a moment. Yeah, it didn't look great. Not going to speculate on what the injury, but when you're watching it live, you go, oh, my gosh, it makes you shudder just for a second. Let's hope it all works out. for his next series. Marshall's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. They'll run it here. And Sproles is brought down. That's second down coming up. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Barkley standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He's got the catch. That's a gain of six. Hard to play man-to-man -man coverage all the time in the NFL. That time we see the man-to-man -man coverage, the quarterback sees it. Nice throw. The Eagles have it at the 24. Armandova's got it. First down. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. Offense lines up here. Let's go. Hey. First and ten. Throws to the right. Here's Ertz. Rivers is the one who brings him to the ground. Well, it's not quite a first down, but a good read, good throw, good catch. A lot of good there, isn't it, Jim? But nice job by the offense. Now they got second and short. Look out. Who knows what the next play is going to be. Second and short. Looking long. Has the catch. Wins there to make the tackle. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense.
The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. This play set up by the long gainer. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This is... Murray's going to test the coverage this time. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Another series coming up for Barkley and company. Offense lines up here. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Murray's got the first as he's brought down. The Eagles offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. First down here after the run. It's a two tight end formation. Play fake. Set up screen. Sticks to his hands. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Marshalls in the slot. The Eagles take it from the 28. Not able to get away from Tullet that time. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Eagles get a first down. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. First down here after the completion. Let's go. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. Ansa and the tackle. You got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Murray lined up in the backfield. Get He'll get it again. And it's Haloti Nata who's able to put an end to that play. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Split backfield here. Let's go. Third down and six. Screen on the money. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job by the offense getting another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, the defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. Has the first down. Now looking for more. Murray's the injured player, and we'll take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We'll head back to the field now after the injury timeout. Danielle Bellini is getting us the update on exactly what happened down there. Marshalls lined up in the slot. The Eagles have it at the 29. Up the middle. Taken down at the 27. Rose trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Nickel formation here for the defense. The Eagles from the 27. Reaches out and snatches it. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down, but I promise you, Third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. This long drive continues. Dropping back three. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. And Amendola's in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. And welcome back. Danielle Bellini is working on getting us an update on the injury as we return to action. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. Nice tackle. 
When we were in practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. Play after play after play here on this drive. Halfway through the third quarter. And that'll be a gain of about two. The Lions defense, they got backed up in their own red zone, but you know what? They came through that time. There's a run play. They were waiting for it, and they stopped the offense for... Very short game. Third down. What a drive this has been with drop back. Pulls it in. This time, they failed to pick up the first on third down. A rare occurrence here today. You have to wonder about the tight end and what's happened. He's such a big presence on the field. How can a guy that size be invisible two straight weeks, Phil? Well, yeah, he's not making the catches, Jim, but he's doing other things that are helping his football team. He's doing a really good job of blocking for the run game, so it's not all bad from the tight end. The Lions offense now coming out. Alexander's lined up now as a slot receiver. First down at the 20. Moreno's got it on the handoff. He's tackled right at the 24. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second and six. Moreno's going to secure the handoff. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Takes a receiver in the slot. The Lions take it from the 28. Moreno's taking the handoff. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Games in the NFL can hinge on third and short. Who can pick them up and who can stop them? How about that play that time by the defense? They stopped the third short run, and now it's fourth down. Murray's got it at the 21. They'll mark the football at the 22. A player is down on the field, and the training staff comes out, and we'll step aside for just a moment. We'll head back to the field now. Danielle Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Here's Ertz. That'll stop the play right there. You see the offensive totals for these teams, and it's been about two teams getting it done in different ways. What we're seeing is two different philosophies on the offensive side from these teams here today, Jim, and it doesn't matter. All you want to do is just get it done. Murray, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time, it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Sproles is in the backfield. Third down and three. Stiff arm. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Throws is that time. Nice job. Offensive line gives him a little hole, and he gets in there and shows his toughness and picks up the first down. The Eagles will take the snap from the 40, and they bring him down at the 33-yard line. That'll bring us to the end of the third quarter here in downtown Detroit, and we'll return in a moment for the start of the fourth quarter. Line, trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. 
Second and three after that last carry. And the final quarter begins with balls out. And the defense has it. Good piece of tackling. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Castles setting up now in the pistol. The give running right through the trenches. Brought down after a gain of six. Looking ahead, the Lions will be playing at home next week, while the Eagles will be on the road in Miami. Second and four. Eyeing that left side. Johnson's got it. And a first. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback. And that's enough. Completion by two tight ends on the field here. Moreno's going to take the handoff now. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Coming up, second down. Alexander's going to get set oh, in the slot for the snap. Huh. They feed it to him one more time, and this will end up as a two-yard loss. Well, when you have good team speed on the defensive side, you can make plays just like this. You can get it in the backfield and tackle the running back for a loss. Castles got everybody split out wide. He'll take the snap from the gun. Launching it deep. A near interception that time by Boykin. Well, the defense is happy to get off the field. They stopped the third down try by the offense, but they're upset because they had a chance for the turnover, and they dropped a sure interception. And this will bounce into the end zone for a touchback. Matt Barkley now back onto the field for his next series. It scrolls in the backfield. First down and 10. Murray's got the catch and the first. Quarterbacks always love play action passes. Why? Because it usually gives them a little more time to throw. When you get more time, you're going to make a better decision and you're going to be more accurate. Double tight end formation. First down at the 34. And the give now to DeMarco Murray. The Eagles now move the chains. The Eagles have gone by their usual game plan today. That's running the football. Murray's been a threat on the ground and continues to rack up yardage. Been tremendous once again today. And look, let's look at this running back. He's got legs of steel. He can break tackles. He can run around you. That's why this running game is so good. And he's forced to the ground. I don't know if they were confused or not, but the left side of the offensive line that time, they were not aggressive. They got pushed back, and they give up a sack of the quarterback. Second down now. The Lions' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Looking to the right side and throwing. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. On the way, third down. Offense lines up here. Matt Barkley now will take it from the shotgun. And there's a drop. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. is still on the field here on fourth down needing five for the first Matt Barkley will be under center 
He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you've got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Offense lines up here. To the ground. Gains 11. The Eagles have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Murray's been absolutely brilliant and almost impossible to bring down. What a dominating performance by this right. offense today. Just coming out and out hitting the defense, giving the running back opportunities, and they are taking advantage of it. Another big day for the running back. He came into today's game in the top 10 in the NFL rushing yards. And he's just adding to those yards. Nice run. Second down and eight. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. Murray's hit and brought down. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. Darren Sproles makes the catch. The defense can be a little more aggressive down here in the red zone. Why is that? Because they do not have to worry about deep passes down the field. So make the quarterback throw it short. Be looking at the receiver who catches it and run up there and make the tackle. They do it that time, and they give up very little yardage. Teams in the NFL spend about 30 40% of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. This has been a long drive so far. Matt Barkley now will take it from the shotgun. Has his target. So they fail to convert on third down, but that's been one of the lone failures on third today. Well, defense is love it when they get you inside the five-yard line because it's hard to deceive them. So they can just go after the offense and be aggressive. The kick is good. Yeah, that was a good job that time by the defense. They were bending. They did not break. And all they did was give up a field goal. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Catches it at the two and starts his return. And Lyons is there to take him down. They come to the line, and it's first down. Time in this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Castles back in shotgun formation. Makes the reception, and he's tackled just two yards short of a first down. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed and he is going to make the perfect throw Go down away. the field. Green, Easy completion Green, that time for the quarterback. Second and two. They'll go ground, and that's a two-yard game. The Eagles lead right now, but of course a big reason why is that defense has shown up to play. Jim, to win in the NFL, you have to do all three phases of the game the right way. Offense, special teams, and that defense must show up every single week. Good job so far here today. We're drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve a victory. The Lions from the 32. Mincy's there to make the tackle. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Holding on to the timeout, they'll rush back to the line. First down at the 32. A near interception that time by Boykin. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Tight ends in motion here. Second down and 10. That ball comes out. Recovery by the offense. And they'll try to conserve time here with this timeout. We have a review coming from the booth. 
So now they're going to take a look at whether the knee was down before the ball came out. Well, when we look at this, let's look when the knee hits the ground. And as we look at it, when the knee hits the ground, does he still have total control of the football? If you deem him to have total control, then it is not a fumble. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, it was called one way on the field, but now inside of two minutes, it was a booth review, and the call is overturned. I think if you left it up to the coaches, they'd like the, the booth to review them all, Jim, because put all the pressure on the officials in the NFL. That's what it's there for, to overturn bad calls on the field. That'll put them in what we call this territory. First down, pressure on every snap now. They'll go right to the hurry up, won't use a timeout here. the reception the offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive no time to waste they hurry to the line they're gonna get him here for a sack every play is huge now second down on the way split backfield here second and long out to the left complete to Calvin Johnson Coming up, third down, a huge moment. Time continues to tick away as they'll rush back to the line. The defense gets the sack. The Eagles signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. And converts on the three. So the offense does good work to drive down the field, get in position, and kick the field goal now to tie this game in the late stages. Yeah, and you know what's going to be fun from here on out is which team is willing to take a chance. Will the offense be aggressive? Will the defense take some chances? The one that's aggressive, I think that's the one that's going to win the game. come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with an extra tight end on the field for this one first down at the 34 tries to get the feet down but this will be ruled incomplete the Eagles will have to get to about the 39 to even think about kicking the field goal failing to complete that one so second down here the defense comes out on the dime. Matt Barkley now will take it from the shotgun. Throws the pass. He'll pick up seven this time. The Eagles are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. Sproles is in the backfield. Barkley's got it in the gun. Looks to his left. Darren Sproles makes the catch. The Eagles will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. are at the line and they are out of timeouts so here in overtime the rules change if you receive the ball first and get a touchdown the game is over however if you take the ball down on your first drive and only manage a field goal the other team will have a chance to tie or win the game and if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. The Lions are ready to receive the kick.
No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Lions ready to take over the football. He'll take the first snap here in overtime. A takeaway. They bring him to the turf. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down, offense readying for the snap. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Murray gets about nine on the play. Definitely not surprised to see this running back get another long run. My gosh, he's been doing it all year long. So far this year, he's in the top ten in rushing yards, and looks like he's going to stay there. Murray lined up in the backfield. Second down and two. And the give now to DeMarco Murray. It's a walk-off touchdown beyond belief. Partner, it was a thrill to be here to watch it with you today. This game going to overtime, and what an exciting game it was. Yeah, it was. It was spectacular to see that big play in overtime to win. That has got to be the most exciting way to get it done. was for Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now and we leave you with the GMC never say never moment of the game.